Hello YouTube, welcome back to my games of football tactics. My name is SJK199 and this is episode number 10. Now, let me explain. Um, I forgot I'd done three recordings a few days ago and took it from episode like four to episode six. So you'll probably find out me saying, oh, this is episode number five and this is episode number six and seven and for the newest, like the last three videos that I've, I've put up. Um, and it was completely out. It was actually seven, eight and nine and this one is episode number 10. So I do apologise about that, guys. <laughs> um, I haven't actually rewatched the videos back again, so I'm not too sure how far out I'm actually on the episode count, but um, I'm pretty sure I'm out by a few, by a couple at many at maximum. So we are now currently fighting for third place. We're doing a good job. The guys are still going quite well, to be honest. Um, we got Townsend back in the last game. Lean got injured, so we had to replace him and take him out. And we're doing pretty good, to be honest. I'd like to start taking people like... Um, uh, Egg Grove out of the team. I know he's 24, but he's, the ability for him to level is going to be diminishing pretty quick. Purely and simply because um, he's such a high level as it is, I'd love to see Malova start scoring more goals because the more EXP he gets, the better he's going to become for the team. The more stats he gets, the better he's going to become for the team as well. So he's the one that I really, really want leveling and leveling quickly. Um, but still, having a 30 attack stat at this stage in the game, it just isn't good enough. So, Ed Grove and Gomez are always going to get the ball over the top of Malova, um, uh, Molevera anyway. So, that's, it's, it's, it's a pain, but there's not a whole lot you can do about it. The only way I could really fix that is by putting M Gomez in his position, switching Hutchinson on for a little bit instead of Ed Grove. So, he gets all of the uh, the attention um, with shots and stuff, de like, depending on what the computer decides to do. Because the computer might even just pass to Gomez, because he's a 33 attack stat, and just go, you know... You know, push him forward and push him, push him, push him all the way, which will be an absolute pain if they do that. But there we go, that's what we're going to do. Uh, I've looked at their formation, that's theirs, this is ours, and we're just going to get on with the game because I've already been waffling for two minutes and I probably should have just got on with the game as it was. <laughs> Alright, so here we go, here we go. So straight to Ed Grove. Came inside one. Scores. That's interesting. I don't know why he came inside. And normally we stay on the outside, but as long as he keeps scoring, I don't mind. I don't mind too much. Good interception. Where are we going from here? He rolled a two. He had a 32 control stat, and you rolled a two. Wow. That's terribly bad. Okay, so Plymouth. Now, how are they doing? Do you know what? I didn't even check to see how they're doing in the league, but it should be alright, to be honest. I think they're they're like third from bottom or fourth from bottom, something like that. They're not doing overly fantastic. I think we're punching way above our weight. I think I've done some good good signings in terms of the players that I've picked up. There's probably more that I would like to pick up in terms of their stats, but, you know, you kind of... to the roll of the dice, realistically, you know? As long as you don't shoot, you scored, but I'd rather you've not shot. Because that's a long way to be shooting from with, with a 13 chance. Still, the goal's there, and I'll accept that. I'm going to do a bit of a change now. I'm going to change my over up here to see what happens. Um, yeah, and then what I'll do, I'll sub Campbell off with Hutchinson later and switch Gomez and Campbell around. I think that's what I'll try and do. Keep calling him all over, he's more ever. More ever. Okay. That that's relatively smart. You know, these two missed that tackle, so he pulls back into the defensive position to create the box. Good save by a keeper. Bad pass, but Banks is up there. He can do something. Move forward. Pass to uh, El Grove. No! Pass! Sitting in that corner ain't going to do nothing for him. But I'm probably going to score again now because of the, the position that we're in. But still. 3-0. Yeah, I wouldn't have done that because at the end of the day, all the other teams you played against... Um, They've basically just cornered us in. 
That's literally what they've done. They've just called us in and, and made it so that we can't actually play there. So, right, Galvin's going to come on for Campbell. Uh, yep. Okay, that's fair. Uh, we'll switch... We'll switch these two round. We'll bring Galvin on for Yule. And then Yule can come up front with Gomez. Which means that hopefully, if all goes the way I, I think it's going to go, they're going to focus all their passing towards Milova to take the shots. I think. So, if this goes according to plan, we should have some, some at least some points going towards Milova at some point. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Malevera, sorry, Mal Malevera. Um, and that way, it gives us a good, a good standing in terms of his position. Like, why is he getting plus stats up there? 9, 22, 17, 32. He's actually getting full stats up there for some reason. Ref! That's the second time now, Ref. I hope the next time he does it, if he ever does it again, I want you to make sure you book him. Because that's getting silly now. He's taking long range. I don't know why he's taking the long range, but there you go, he's what it is. Now, with his controls that, I would have kept that, just sat on it, and then the next turn I would have moved up and taken the shot. But that's my none of the Orient players moved for that that attempt there. So I get one block on that. That's fine. Witty. Control it. Right. If they auto pass turn, I'm gonna take control. If you just sit there, I'm gonna be happy. He intercepted as well. Oh my god. Make the tackle, son, you know what I mean? It's just why aren't these guys tackling him? He's getting reduced stats. That's a goal that we should have been conceding. Should not have been conceded. I'm going to take control now. We're going to pass to Milova. And then Milova is going to come here. Probably should have gone there, actually. 24 precise shot. Power shot. He blocked on a 14. Okay, that's fair enough. You know, at least I made, I made an attempt to do something. Um, but that's an absolute pain. It is a pain. Okay, so Banksy, three up on the passing. Um, Elul, two up on the passing, one on the control. You've got Scattergood on two up on the passing, one up on defence, which isn't too bad, that's alright. Controls are still a bit garbage though. Uh, Witty is one of our young defenders, two up on defensive, one on control. And we have no level ups in the attacking department. So it's nice, like 140 XP. Now, if I had 140 XP on uh, Malevra, that would be massive. Look how much EXP bonus he got from 70, so double that up. And you're looking nearly a full level just from that EXP bonus alone. Which is why I'd like to keep him up the top there. Um, so yeah, that's a nice bit of fame. Some good, some good gold to come into our into our ways. So we beat Pl uh, Pl uh, Plymouth 3-1. Um, Barnsley beat Coventry 2-0. Blackpool beat Doncaster 2-0. Oxford beat Wakefield 3-0. Salford beat Portsmouth 3-1. Chester beat Preston 2-0. League table pretty much looks the same. The only two people to move were Portsmouth and Barnsley. Excuse me, got hiccups now. <laughs> but I'll take the 15 fame. But then again, we're still fighting with Chester. I'm not too sure if we've played Chester yet or not. We haven't, or we, we've still got the second round to play. So I can look at that right now. Actually, let's go to the calendar. So we've got, we've got Oxford and Doncaster. Their actual stars have gone down because this team was a two-star team. Yeah, I don't think we play Chester again. No. So we play in Blackpool, we play in Oxford. We've got Doncaster, we've got Plymouth again, I think. I think that's what the bottom was. Uh, there's a few games left. 
So their stats, okay, so they're very, very well sorted. Very good team. These guys are really scary. Because I think their, their stats are better than my goalkeepers, as always. Um, I'm just going to keep this strong formation up. I'm just going to keep this up. I don't really care too much. Okay, so we want to bring Molevera up. We want to bring um, Gomez back. We want to bring Hutch on Campbell. And then Campbell can come on for one of these dudes. Let's go Banksy. Um, gives him a bit of a rest because he was looking a bit tired. Preston's still going to be two months out from, from returning from injury. Um... And I think that will do it. Yeah. And let's see how we go. So, come on, lads. Let's sneak a win here, boys. Come on. If we can sneak a win here, it puts a dent in their, in their title chances. Oh. You have to try and beat that goalkeeper. What I'll do is I'm going to keep more lever up there. Look, I'll give him all the chances in the world. I'll keep him up there. Oh, good interception. From the hutch. And lost the ball. Okay. Uh, we just got out skills. And Hutchinson coming in from behind, son. No? Okay. Okay, so Skatak is coming in, and no, okay, never mind. No interception. Taking a long shot, more than likely. Yeah, that's fine, that's good. Okay, fair enough. So, we should have Townsend on the ball right now, into the middle, to um, Yule. Yule's moving forward for some reason. I don't know why he moved one step forward, but whatever floats his boat. Okay, so they've got Antone coming into um, to Yule. He rolls 27, we roll 21. Typical, to be honest. It was our control right there. Our control was like 60, and his attack was 39. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, he, he rolled a 37, or 36, whatever it was. So he was definitely doing, doing well there. Good save by the keeper there. Okay. So Scattergood should be coming up there. Let's get that. Oh, Campbell, sorry, Campbell. So Scattergood's down here somewhere, isn't he? Where is he? Where is he? So Ed Grove on 31 control. Good stop. Coming in from behind. It's our ball. It's our ball. Come on. Pass with touch. Hutch, one step forward, son. One step forward. That's it, son. Take your shot. Ugh. Come on. Come on, boys. Let's do this. 31 and 55. Now get the ball into Gomez. He's going to pass to Airgrove. Into Gomez. Go on, son. No! Wow, seriously? Seriously? That's, that's mad. That is mad. The only time he ever misses the corner pass. Only time. Oh, man. That is... That is BS right there. Okay, so we're actually doing all right. <laughs> Surprisingly, we're doing all right. Excuse me. <coughs> I apologise about that. Even Hutch is having a pretty decent game. He's only had the ball like twice, but at least he got in there and he stuck it in, forced the goalkeeper to make a save. I don't know how Laddle's got. How has Laddle got, got current best player? He's made one save the entire game. It was a quality save, oh, granted. Yeah, we needed it. We absolutely needed it. We're probably going to need him again now. Well, six. Okay, fair enough. That's all right. That's what I'm saying. But well, sometimes those stats are garbage. Like 52, and he's, he rolls a six. But then again, six might be his lowest roll. Do you know what I mean? So it could just be that. 27, that's fine. Terrible pass that was. 
Scatter good. What are you going to do with the ball now? Scatter good. Put that into the corner. Hopefully that brings a defender with no home for midfield will come. Nine against four. We'll take that. We'll take that. Scatter to Galvin. Is Galvin injured or something? Or is he, is he, or is he knackered? No, what's going on there? Why is Galvin stats being decreased? Done all that for absolutely nothing, Galvin. You won the ball back, but we can't do anything with it. Riff! Oh, Jesus. Galvin out for two months. Who's he brought on? Campbell? No, Campbell brought on. Galvin. So who did he bring on? Do you know what? I've got no idea who the computer's just brought on. It must be Campbell. It's got to be Campbell. Yeah, okay. Okay. Wow, look at that defence setup. Look at the defence setup. How many people behind the ball? You what? It's everyone. Everyone behind the ball. Wow, Oxford are going all defensive. Time wasting. Oh, come on. Come on, London Ori. Let's go. Wow. What a legit ref. How, how could they get done for time wasting? That's a legit strategy. That's a legit strategy. How can I get done for time wasted, man? <laughs> oh, man. Let's put a smile on my face. Keep it saved, it. We're going to win the game. It doesn't matter. That random penalty right at the end. Come on. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. I think that was a bad decision by the ref. That's a legit strategy. At the end of the day, they're playing for they're playing for the draw, and that's all there is to it. We lost both of those anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I just assume with a random long shot to end the match. Oh man, scatter good best player. Start start e faint uh, start e fant start e fant is their goalkeeper, and that's a win for London Orient. Holy shit! More lever got some points. That's good. Good to see. That's all right. Wow. What can I say? What can I say the random win right at the end there. The penalty for time wasting. What a result that was. And we got five fame for the strong opponent win. That's wicked. That's absolutely wicked. One nil. We won one nil. So Blackpool beat Wakeford 4-1. Coventry and Doncaster drew 2-2. Chester beat Barnsley 1-0. Portsmouth beat Preston 2-0. Plymouth beat Salford 1-0. And that's the table. Chester won, didn't they? Chester are keeping up with us. You know what I mean? Every time we score, they score. So they've just scored a hell of a lot more goals than we have. And they've conceded a hell of a lot less goals than we have. So that's where we're struggling. Um... But we're still sticking to him. Sticking to him like Lou. It's only their second loss this season. Wow. But we still have to face up against Blackpool. She's coming up right now. So, yeah. They're going to have to wait until the next episode to see the result of this one. But I am chuffed with that result against Oxford. I thought we were going to get smashed. So, I'm glad we got that random penalty right at the end. <laughs> that was it. That, that penalty. That penalty. So very, very random. Um, I've got no one to replace him with. Yeah, I've got no one to replace him with. Nothing I can do about that. He's just had to sit on the bench. So, 
Okay, so thank you very much, guys, for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.